This is what one year of continuous use did to my condensate pump. The flora malfunctioned and caused the pump to overflow and create a small puddle of water near it. Luckily, I cut it on time to avoid a big mess. My mistake was not keeping an eye on it more often and doing regular flushes with vinegar or bleach. That means that I will have to perform a complete cleanup of the condensate pump to get it back to normal functionality. First things first, I will disconnect the power and then remove all the drains. You might have a hard time removing the silicone tube from the pump's output, but just use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat it up a bit and then it's gonna come off really easy. The amount of slime in here is quite something. That tray is filled and the floater is completely covered. This caused the pump to not turn on and therefore overflow, but luckily on a basement floor. While a basement floor can handle such things, this is no joke for a furnace installed in an attic. The amount of damage a malfunctioning condensate pump can do is substantial. Okay, so time to get rid of all the slime. But I'm going to try to avoid throwing it into my sewer, so I will remove as much as I can and dispose of it in the trash first. A nice warm shower should make all the remaining slime loose and then a toothbrush or a regular brush should take care of what's left. I had an area that had a more sticky slime and tried some dishwasher foam, which not surprisingly did the job. As a precaution, I disassembled the pump when I was done with cleaning to wipe out any excess water and let it air dry a bit. And the results speak volumes. The pump looks almost new and is all set for another year of reliable use. With a condensate pump reassembled, it's now time to do a couple of flushes with warm water. Remember that the pump itself still has some slime inside and warm water should probably help with dislodging some of it. Two, three flushes should be enough. A second round of flushes with the one part bleach and three parts water solution should help clean the pump more and also the drain pipe. Finally, a few more plain water flushes are needed to ensure there's no residual bleach left in the tray or the drain pipe. Bleach is corrosive and I don't want to ruin the pump, so I'll make sure to flush it well. Now, this condensate pump is as good as new. To make sure it won't get again to this level of slime buildup, I will be doing two things. Every three months or every time I change the air filter, I'll throw some white vinegar into the pump and flush it a few times with water. And for the next winter, I'll set a reminder to inspect and possibly perform another cleaning of the pump if required. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content like this. See you in the next one.